Hello everyone, Praise Good here, and welcome back to more Link's Awakening, the remake. Last time, we went up to, we went all over the place, now we have these flippers. But now, with our 35, 34, right, secret seashells in tow, extra bottle, and a bow and arrow, which you should normally have the money for by this point in the game, if you've been following along at the very least, let's go into the Catfish's Maw. A dungeon... That almost nobody likes. I'll bring out the bombs. And they don't like it because of these enemies right here that we did see briefly before. They can only be... Uh, oh, they got replaced with Hammerocks? Huh. But yes, the, uh, these, that, the, how, these... These enemies were a little bit more squished and weren't exactly the Helm Rocks from Link to from Link Between Worlds or Link to the Past, whatever you prefer. Excuse me, I'm trying to slice your butt. But But yeah, those enemies were a little more squished into like a one actual one tile perspective. But still did the same thing. Anyway. Hey look, a compass. I love it. You like bombs, right, kids? God, God bless America for those bomb upgrades. Anyway. Oop, shoot. Well, the, the jumping got, got, got me. I got got by jumping physics. Hit. Hit. Let's try the jumping puzzle again. As if I was a master. So yeah, this this is the normal progression of which you have to go through here. Oh, also, uh, red bones. Don't don't give them a chance to breathe. They will throw bones at you if they feel the if they feel threatened. Also, you are gonna break everything in this room and make the center a perfect square. Also, also, even though it's a catfish's maw, you are gonna want to have your bombs on you for an upcoming boss. Now, much like with Link to the Past, and I said it on this before, I'm pretty sure you can defeat this guy without bombs? Oh no. Huh. You can defeat these guys without bombs? But people swear that I'm crazy when I tell them that you can defeat this type of enemy without bombs. I was a dumb kid. I was a dumb kid in the past and very stupid. Hence why in the, why in the last dungeon, I told you how I'd make corner jumps with with just the rock's feather and not even trying to use the Pegasus boots as well to make a, a longer jump. But anyway, we need that key to progress forward. And I'm gonna try to avoid enemies for the most part, because a lot of them do respawn. Unfortunately, we don't get that luxury with, th with these guys. Thank you. Why you gotta be so cute, Helmasars? I want to say that this dungeon is the one that gave me the, the most of a headache. Also, just a bomb restock room. You don't need to go in there. Good. Arrow restock, though. That's necessary. Also, this room we'll be in several times. And I do not recommend trying to go through this room. So, we are in the wrongest room, I guess. It's been a while since I played Link, Link's Awakening. I, I'm not going to remember everything that goes on. Oh good. Require oh boy, here I go killing again. Hey. Catch. You're supposed to eat the bomb. The bomb is your friend. Anyway. This is the enemy I was talking about. A Staphylus Knight. Anyway, not hit him, knock him down, drop a bomb on him. And it does the most damage to him. And I guess his patterns will different. I thought you had to block it, because, you know, I complimented the game's better, you know, better sword play. Well, somewhat better sword play, anyway. Hey, wait, you're not supposed to get back up. You're supposed to die. And he vamooses out. 
Well, that was our mini boss done. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and just get the item. Oh, it's been stolen. My goodie bag stolen right before my eyes. So, uh, something I should draw note to, to for anybody confused about about this at all is we saw it in the other room, and we're, we're going to see it in this room. Is that no? Take note of the green on the corner of the skull. There's one green corner here, and there was four green corners in another room that we saw. You are going to want to keep that in mind, because that does pay, uh, play into what's going to be happening here. Now, I don't remember... I don't remember what's, uh, what order everything happens, or what order you're supposed to do everything in in these rooms. Uh, leave me alone. But yeah, I don't remember what order you're supposed to do all this in, but you're ba but basically you're chasing this guy around this dungeon. Uh, no, don't touch. This is also probably one of the. Uh, dang it. This is also probably one of the most confusing dungeons in this game, other than a dungeon two out from now. Because it does kind of, it does kind of snake around and wind and. Oh wait, right, it's behind this pot. This is the block that lets you out, if you're unfortunate enough to do what I did. Anyway, uh, we're back here. Is this worth it? Well, nothing's really stopping us. Plus more arrows, which, okay. We can still carry, I think we can carry up to 30, it looks like 30 arrows, but maybe we can carry up to 60 still. We'll find out eventually. Ow, dick. So I was wrong, we were supposed to go north here. Also, we got this fun little trope of enter a room, leave a room. And I really... There's so much going on with this dungeon, it's a, it's a little much to like digest right from the get-go. But it will tell you that we do want to take a dive in this room. Hey look, it's a blooper! The blooper that can fly! Look, bloopers can fly! Don't let, don't let Mario games try and tell you otherwise. But, oh, we weren't supposed to do anything in here yet. That's a, that's like the last place we're supposed to go in this entire dungeon, actually. Actually, another thing with this dungeon is that there actually is... Is that there actually are too many bosses in this dungeon. I think I came at this from the wrong side. Yeah, I came at this, at this room from the wrong side. Listen, my... I tend to block out the bad memories of Catfish's Maw, for good reason. And I think now we actually want to go up here, come back down, reset the block, and then open that door to the right, which is where we'll begin, begin to go forward. Yes, this is where we go forward next. Hi! Yes, I am. Come here. Hold that. Hey, hit me again. Okay, good job. Let's try that again. Blue armor, I take no damage, man. You should really not like wind up your swing like that. It really is a detriment to your to your longevity. Listen, I give I give tips to my enemies. I don't defeat them. So yes. Two green two green corners. If you're kind of piecing things together, we do have to chase this guy throughout a large majority of this dungeon before we get the item he had in his possession. So we'll be at this for a while. Ow. Although I think, if you do it right, you can actually just, yeah, you can just clear this jump without the, without the dungeon item. Not a smart thing to do, but it is something you can do. Uh, you cannot clear this jump without the dungeon item though. Oh god. Well, that worked out in my favor. <laughs> Knew exactly what I was doing. What are you talking about? Go away. Now, you could stop fighting me that way. That'd be 
fantastic. Anyway, in this room, to you do have to defeat every enemy in this room, but there is a way to get at the enemies that are on the other side of the wall. It's that block right there. That's literally all there is to it. That's the trick. Because if you don't defeat all the enemies in one go, especially in the Game Boy version, if you don't defeat all the enemies in one go, that door does not open. Oh, hey, look, it's room three. Y yeah, I get that. Hi. Hold that. Yeah! Okay, good hit. Okay, I thought I could time it better. Also, yeah, that wind-up, man, you need to work on that. How are you not dead? I mean, how are you not dead again? It is a living pile of bones, after all. But yeah, this is why I say you want... Don't. Don't. That's why I say... This is why I say you want to have bombs coming into this place. Because it... It's pretty much necessary. The bombs are effectively necessary in order to deal damage to them. And they do give you so many refills. Now... We have been to this, the room already where he has retreated to. Uh, I believe it's down the staircase? In fact, I'm 90% certain it is down that staircase. So let's vamoose my way back to the staircase. Excuse me. Ow. Listen, I just want to reset the screen so I can push the block again. Is that too much to ask for? Apparently it is. You ask somebody for a little bit of room, and that's too much. Please don't touch me. I don't know if you can jump on those on those cheap cheeps as well in order to deal damage to them. Excuse me. Oh, I've already. Huh, I've already done this. That leads. This is why I don't like this dungeon. I'm already lost in where I should be. Alright, this is the place. We already did this puzzle once already. And we had to do it because... We had to get the key over here. But now we gotta do it because this is where the last Master Skull or Skeleton Knight... Or Stuffless Knight, whatever you like to say, room is. Okay, could you not run into me constantly? I have a quest. And it involves this man's. Hello! Oh, you jump on me? How dare, sir. How uncouth. Are you that uncultured that you must jump on another man with his sword drawn? Poke. Dang, it doesn't work. Okay. Maybe I am the uncouth one. There's a good chance I'm the uncouth one here, really. Anyway, hold that bomb. I'm pretty sure that's the last of it. <laughs> Consume bomb. Well, 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 what is this? Is this our new friend? It is our new friend. Well, with the hookshot in tow, we can now head back and do things. So, we're going to do such. Starting at the very beginning of the dungeon. Monbo's Monbo is effectively... Is effectively the magic mirror of this game. When you're in dungeons. And now with that done, equip the hookshot. And never unequip it because... Well, it can't do anything to that, but... My gosh. Oh, it just stuns now? It doesn't do damage anymore? Boo. Give me that mask. Well, the hookshot got nerfed. Yeah, the hookshot got nerfed. It can't even it can't even take out bats. But at this point, we effectively have to re-explore the entire dungeon. We had... We have to re-explore the entire dungeon to get everything. But thankfully, the hookshot tether, I think it goes full screen. Uh, even even more so. It goes even more than full screen. So yeah. Now let's see. Going down the staircase will net us nothing over there. Oh, they even have the corners highlighted in the... Uh, yeah, they have the corners of the room that are green highlighted on the, mini on the map. That's nice. I like that. But anyway, we do need to go... Yeah, we do need to go back and kind of... Do everything in this dungeon all over again. 
No. Can you? Okay, good. You can't do it at an angle, too. Although we will need to do it for. Oh, there's a treasure chest in that room? Well, thank goodness something is telling me that there is a treasure chest in this room besides my own stupidity. Uh, I believe it's a kill all buddies room. Well, kill all buddies loosely. Hold that. See, if I didn't do, if I didn't look at the map, I would have missed this, and then everybody would have been screaming, "Hey, why didn't you get that one treasure chest in the catfish's maw?" Because it's a stone beak, and it's not really worth it. <laughs> I, I joke. I joke. But yeah, now we can do things like this. Fun little things. Oh, I should have caught that. Now I think... Oh yeah, at this point we can do... Uh, can I have this? Thanks. Now leave me alone. While I... Zoom! While we acquire some... Oh, shoot. While we acquire some keys, and man, they are really just throwing the arrows at us at this point, aren't they? Now, this key, I'm actually going to use in a room coming up here. Yeah, I'm going to use the, I'm going to use this key in a room coming up here, uh, in an area coming up here for an optional boss. Oh, uh, excuse me, I just need to, thank you. But I'm gonna go fight the optional. This is an optional mid boss in here. You you don't even have to fight this enemy if you don't if you don't want to. But hey, what's the series without a little bit of suffering? Also, it's optional because there is a possibility of you coming here without air, without the bow and arrow, which is the only way to defeat this guy. Huh, you can just block the shot, neat. I should have taken the opportunity to shoot that guy. Like that. Are you really not going to open your eyes anymore? This, okay, this boss fight got super trivialized in this version of the game. Yep, you're gonna charge. Good to know. Well, back one's dead. And it's literally just a back and forth of this with this boss. And again, they made this so much easier in this version of the game compared to the Game Boy game. Hold on. Hold on. Don't run away yet. Bottle. Got her. We put fairies and bottles in this household. But yeah, that's the totally optional sub-boss. That I didn't even have to fight. I didn't have to fight it. I literally fought it just because it was there. And... I think with that tackled... I think I'll actually meet you in another... I'll actually meet you in the upper half of this dungeon to handle... Some of the stuff that's going to happen there. So, everyone, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Link's Awakening, the remake. And I'll meet you... I'll meet you right about... I'll meet you right about in this room up here. Where I'll... Where we'll go get... Where we get a key, open these last two chests, and find our way over to this room here. It won't be that hard. I'll see you folks then. Take care.